Hi there, welcome back to All Things Home Care. I'm your host, Dana Arnone, and I'm here with a, I say this all the time, but I really do mean it this time, <laughs> with a very good friend of mine, Yvonne Cook. Um, one of the things that we have in common, well, we have a lot of things in common, but one of the things is that we're both our nurses, yes. and we're both healers, yes. and we both believe in, um, you know, not so much just medicine is the only way of healing. Right. So uh, you have a business called uh, the Wings of Light and Love, um, which is a uh, Reiki mm -hmm. type of, um, of... I incorporate more than just Reiki. Reiki is the main part of it. Mm -hmm. I've learned many different types of um, holistic healing, mm -hmm. but I always come back. I'm always led back to Reiki. So now I work intuitively, so I incorporate whenever I feel I need to do something from another holistic, I, I incorporate it in there. And that includes... Um, um, crystals, the tuning forks that I have, um, the uh, aromatherapy, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, but Reiki is the main hub, but then other things kind of feed into it when I'm kind of told to do that. So, when are you? When are you? What is your title? Like, what is? What is? I'm a what Reiki you, master teacher. Teacher. Right. Okay. So, so I teach it, but I I twice um, a month in my home I open it up to the public mm -hmm. for an exchange, and I'll work on you ten to fifteen minutes. Um, and I do private half hour sessions, private hour sessions, um, and I teach it. So, mm -hmm. and I, and I'm really incorporated in everyday life. I use it cause I also, if Reiki is the physical healing, mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. Part of what you learn is how to send long distance. So I'm constantly sending I see to <laughs> the earthquakes, um, to the ambulances that pass me on the road, to the fire trucks that go by, to the trauma calls in the hospital, to the code blues. So whatever's going on. On, it's it's binging out in all different directions all the time. I remember, you know, when we used to work together, and you, I would say, "Oh, my head," and you'd come up behind me and you'd rub your hands together. And I will tell you, I mean, I used to think it was funny, but it was endearing. But I felt, I literally felt the heat from your hands. Mm -hmm. Or I remember if I said I have a backache, I, I learned not to say too many ailments in front of you because you'd try yeah, to rake me all the time, <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> I'm going to rake you, Data. Yeah. But you would, I, I really would feel the heat from your hands. Mm -hmm. So it's no joke. It's real. So um, for some of the people out there, you know, for um, we try to do things a little bit differently in Reliance. You know, I think that holistic medicine is definitely something people should look at. I think that it can benefit people in home care mm -hmm. um, or hospitalizations mm -hmm. like we were talking about. So what are the things, how does Reiki or how does the holistic medicine, uh, has it changed uh, since you started? Because I know you've been doing this oh, a very long time. Many yes. more people Probably are, before it was cool to yeah, do it. Yeah, many more people are... Um, working with holistic yeah. and you know as I go and I put out different things on even on Facebook spiritual things and stuff I, I kind of feel it's like a, throwing a pebble in the water and the ripples go out I'm not here to change your mind or to tell you this is what you need to do mm -hmm. It's putting an idea there. Mm -hmm. And then if you're interested, you contact me or you experience it and see what happens. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of great results. I think the experience is really what people yeah. would need to because I think yeah. once you felt that heat. That's why I leave it all. I have mm -hmm. it twice twice a month in my mm -hmm. home. Just, you know, in, in a home environment, all the, my house is crystal charged, as mm -hmm. you know. So it's yes, crystals it everywhere. <laughs> um, I have sage going, you know, incense going all the time. I sage the house a lot. And on the outside of my yard, I have crystals hanging in the trees. I have it um, on the gutters on the uh, outside of the patio. So it's it's the vibration is really nice there. Yeah. You know, and people feel it, actually, when they come in the front door. Yeah. So. I think I'm immune, though, when I come to your house. All I smell is, is that. Is that. The, the incense. <laughs> <laughs> but everything else is working on a subliminal level oh. for you, so don't worry. Okay. That's, oh, thank you. Yeah. So let's talk about what you have here and, and about the healing okay. things that you utilize when you're when you're healing people. So, so and healing, I just want to say something. So for you, healing could be anything. Someone, anything. It's yeah. physical, mental. You and It has its own. Oh, I, I know. The animals love it. I know, it. I know. It has its own intelligence. So you can come to me, and you don't have to tell me anything. You want to tell me what's, what you want me to work on, I can concentrate my effort on that. Okay, let's not tell people out there what's wrong with But, no, I'm not <laughs> going to. Let's not tell but them. But you, do, you don't have to tell me anything because it knows where to go. Uh -huh. So you come for a backache, but there's something else going on inside mm -hmm. physically that, or mentally or emotionally, spiritually that you need more, that's where it's going to go. Okay, so what's here, though? Let's talk what I them. use to clear the vibration in the home, and you can do that anywhere, in your office or in any space, backyard, you can either use the Tibetan bells, which sends the vibration out and will clear. You actually feel that. And I also use that, like if I travel, I'll, I'll have the smaller set of bells that I have um, for the hotel room to clear the space of who was there before Excellent. and the okay. energy that was there before. Okay. You can also clear, and I use this in my healing work, is the, this is a tuning fork. This particularly is for use for crystals. So, 
What's this? What is the incense for? <laughs> that also changes the vibration uh -huh. and cleanses it. Wow. So that's what what I can go oh, that's over the, crystal the chakra. Making this that is the sound? crystal. Yes. What, what's making the sound? This. This uh -huh. from the crystal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the tuning forks, and I have a great teacher in Suffolk County that I learned from, um, Donna, and I can always get you that information if yeah. anyone is interested. Yeah. This one, this particular um, one, I have a clear crystal quartz on the bottom. Yeah. That magnifies the vibration, so you'll feel it mm -hmm. vibrate. So I can do it on the chakras. Am I fixed now? No. Oh. <laughs> you have a lot to fix. Hey, we all wow. have a lot to fix. No, no, we have all, okay. all of us are I'm good. I know we're all a work in progress. This is true. All of us are a work in we're progress. We're always learning. So this can go in the chakras. This can also help um, in different, like acupuncture. Acupuncture, you're going along the meridians mm -hmm. and you're opening up so that the chi, the energy, can go flow through. As that will, that can be helped by this. I have been or told by that, the Reiki. that my chi is perfectly aligned. Maybe for that moment it was. Oh. Because anytime, me, anytime you have stress, anytime you have stress or anytime you have anger, that chakra, that oh, beautiful chakra. lotus. Oh, chakra. It wasn't chi. It was chakra. Yeah. That, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. that chakra will just close up mm -hmm. like that, like that lotus flower that mm -hmm. was beautifully open and that mm -hmm. energy was flowing through. Now it's all crunched over and we're not good I'll try anymore. not to crunch over anymore. So, yeah. And then the... Um, Aromatherapy, and I have so many at home, I, I can't even go. But here, go. use the aromatherapy book. If anyone is interested, you can learn a lot from, there's many books and out there. And what is there. that, so lavender? So lavender, this one is frankincense. Mm -hmm. So this one I use, meditation, um, it's a synergy blend. Ooh, but you can pretty. also put it on spots. It smells like liquid. You can use it, but it's got a blend of different flowers mm -hmm. in it. Okay, there's so much. Lavender can be used. It's uh, relaxing and yeah. calming, as is bergamot. Um, I have that bottle right in the office, so I use that when things get a little too hectic. Good for children, for any adults, you know, any, even at home when you have your home care patients or older patients. Yeah. Anything like this, you can have a diffuser, and you can have the oils in there, and it can just go into the atmosphere for three to four hours, which is great. Or you have a child who's anxiety or is a little hyper, you know, that'll help. You can put it in different spots. You can use it on a cotton ball and just wear it on your person oh, somewhere okay. in area. Interesting, yeah. Um, so this is just peppermint. Some of these are used for, you know, different ones for nausea, for anxiety, for a lot of physical ailments. So you just have to, like, you know, go into the book and let's see what you're looking for. Um, and then I work with crystals. Now, selenite is a, is a cleanser. It's um, I have this in tea That's light holders. I use that for cleansing off areas. Um I have a slab that's 57 pounds underneath my Reiki table, and I'll put, you can clear your jewelry on there. Mm -hmm. um, you can clear other crystals on there. Um, anything you want it to be cleansed. Mm -hmm. and, what about and that's that? a rose quartz. That's just a rose quartz wand. Oh, that's quartz what you're going to do with Zario. <laughs> well, he's not getting my wand, but uh, I suggest you get him. Apparently, this this can help Rosario find a, a mate, a girlfriend. Rose, rose, that's for the heart chakra. <laughs> Heart chakra. <laughs> so there's many tools to work, you know, like I said. This, uh, and what about this big thing there? Amethyst is a, yeah. is a beautiful calming stone. So, I mean, the, the, if you get the Crystal Bible or other crystal books, it tells you all the different things that it, it will work with on the physical or on the emotional. Mm -hmm. um, and I keep that as a grounding stone also in my... Uh, in my Reiki room. So let, let's talk about like people, because this the show is about home care, mm -hmm. right? So for me, I feel like there's things here that people, if they have a, pay, a, a family member that has Alzheimer's or behavioral problems mm -hmm. due to Alzheimer's or dementia or, you know, Parkinson's patients, you know, what are some of the tools that people can utilize uh, to help the calming of their, their loved ones? Do they need a hands-on healing? Hands-on healing, obviously, from someone who does Reiki is the mm -hmm. best. Is that, is that just a one-time thing, though? Is it like a one-time hand? Well, it's it's for that moment, mm -hmm. and that can last a few days or longer, depending on what is going on with that individual. You're saying anybody so, anybody can learn Reiki and yeah, then do Reiki. You have children it? children that learn Reiki, and oh. you can have you know a friend of mine. Her mother was in her mid to late 80s and learned how to do Reiki and was Reikiing all the other people at the nursing home. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, you know, any anybody who has an interest in it can learn. So, but if you, if, if they have loved ones at home, they, they could call you and say, can you, con like, we're having a problem. Like, can people contact you to do home visits? It would be private pay, because this yeah, is not that's something that's... Right. Okay. It's not really 
It's not really accepted yet by the insurance companies, um, though it is becoming more acceptable in hospitals. So Sloan Kettering has it as a side um, thing that you could ask for mm -hmm. and, and have the patient or the family get Reiki there. I think New York Presbyterian also has it, but there are many more hospitals that are accepting it. Um, as I was saying before, Dr. Oz obviously is a promoter of Reiki. His wife is a registered nurse, and she's a Reiki master. So he knows the effects of mm -hmm. how it can be. Um, it works in the operating rooms. I think really everyone should have Reiki in every office, in every business, in every aspect of their life because it affects – everyone is affected by something. Yeah. So to get every, everyone more equal and more on a – calming level and a healing level. It's all the issues that we carry through life that we have that are causing some of the problems that we have. So let me ask you a question, because years and years ago, we've known each other a very long time. Mm -hmm. And when I first met you, you were going through some, some things. Mm -hmm. So were you, do you think Reiki helped get you through those things? That's that, what opened the door. Yeah, I thought, yeah, because, because you weren't I, like this back then. No, because... Not that that's a bad thing. It's before actually, that, it's great back then too. Before <laughs> that, that life thing happened, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was asked by a friend when my kids were little to take a class with mm -hmm. her. And as being a mother, I said, I want to, and I feel that I would like to do it. But my kids come first and my yeah. family. And right now, I put everything on the back burner for myself. That's what women do. Yeah. So when I had the changes uh, going on in my life, that's when all of a sudden it was like a light. Somebody put a light switch on. And, and you never looked back. And never. No, I went so fast forward yeah. that it was like, no, never. This is like... But this is a life. This is like a lifestyle for you. This yeah. is oh, yeah, this yeah. is who you are. Twenty four seven. This is not every now and then. This no, no, no. Twenty four yeah, seven. Yeah. It's who you are. It's become yeah. who you are. Yeah. But healing has always been who you are. Yeah. So um, yes. you know, going out there and healing with, as a registered yeah. nurse, or yeah. now doing it this way too. Right. So, um, but the thing is, is that hopefully, you know, I was talking to somebody over the weekend about you know this uh, a school opening up for um, holistic medicine to teach. Uh, hopefully that they can get it into home care, uh, get it into any you know wherever there's sick people or people mm -hmm. in need. I think that maybe. Uh, hopefully it'll turn around and then people can actually yeah. reach out and get it because yes. you know we and are doing have it be more accessible yeah especially for like even yeah. like hospice patients at yes home. oh my gosh you know, the, the fear I that they're going through I love using it with, yes. hospice, with hospice patients yeah I would I would yeah. think so yeah, yeah. Because, especially like the anxiety of the unknown and things yeah. you can give them that peace yes. you know at that time yeah. um, so I, I hope that things will come to the point of where yeah. people recognize it and you really yeah. start to utilize it even more yeah. so um, if someone's out there and they feel um, that they would like to have a session with you mm -hmm. Or learn about Reiki because you teach it too, mm -hmm. right? Where do you teach it now? In my home. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. So um, if they are interested in learning more about Reiki, right. there's four levels, the, um, and you don't have to take all four levels. So the first level is the physical healing of yourself, your family, and your friends. Mm -hmm. Second level is learning um, oh, right. emotional and long distance healing. Okay. Third level is um, advanced Reiki training mm -hmm. that works with making a long distance crystal grid and also working um, on the aura, like psychic surgery, kind of like taking out what changing the vibration inside to remove um, and release things that are no longer serving you. And then fourth level is master level, where you will learn how to attune your students mm -hmm. to the four levels. And how long does that take? Well, Lifetime. <laughs> no, like each section is how long? Um, I teach it in a day, each level, but oh. you want to space it in between. You want space and time for your own you're working on yourself as you're also learning. Mm -hmm. So it's like therapy too. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah you have <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, you're removing things. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but that's good. Well, you're one of the best yeah. people to help people with that. So you know, I'm I'm very pleased that you've gotten this far. I hope that um, people out there, if they want to, you know, talk to you or find out about mm -hmm. Reiki, how do they get in contact with you? The okay. website is um, www.wingsoflightandlove. Dot com. Dot com. I always forget the dot com. And, and what's the phone, phone number? number? The phone number you can call and reach me at is 516-884-7842. Very good. Yeah. So, um, you know, you. I'm sure that you see much success with uh, the healing. Oh, and with, yeah. yeah. And people Amazing. really do. And animals, too. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Amazing you said that. Amazing with animals, yeah. Yeah. So just to give them, if you have a, a dog that's not doing yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me about a dog, someone that brought yeah. a dog to We've you. Yeah, we've had quite a few dogs yeah. come through. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's... Um, I should have nice. brought my dog when yeah. it was hurt. It cost me $1,000 to get my dog fixed. I could have went for her. <laughs> um, so, I, like I said, you're one of my favorite people. I think that this is all a stuff that people definitely should, if they haven't thought about it before, give it a thought give because it, a it can't thought. hurt. Yeah. You know, you never know. If yeah. it, it could definitely do some help. Yeah. Um, so if you want to get in touch with Yvonne, uh, you can call me because I have her cell phone number. But you can also call five, oh, this is your cell phone number. Yeah. 516-884-7842 or visit her at her website, W. 
www.wingsoflightandlove.com. Exactly the way that it sounds. Okay. Right. Or you can uh, give us a call here at 516-308-4840 or visit our website, which is uh, reliancehssny.com. And we could definitely hook you up and link you up with uh, Yvonne and learn about the, um, you know, the, the, the benefits of holistic medicine and how Reiki can help and heal. Okay. Thank you. Yvonne. Thank you very much. I love you. Happy healing. Oh, thank you. I need it. Apparently, I need it. <laughs> Listen, apparently, I need a lot of healing. <laughs> I didn't even know that. But anyway, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi there, it's me again, Dana, known from All Things Home Care. Just wanted to uh, remind everybody to find us on Facebook, uh, iTunes, or Google Play. Uh, follow our podcast, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions of thing, information that maybe you'd like to hear, or it's something that you can have some help with, or some guest uh, that you might like to see on the podcast, or maybe yourself want to be on our podcast, we'd love to have you. So give us a call here, 516-308-4840. Visit us on our website, ReliancehSSNY.com. You can talk to me through the website, please let us know what you're thinking.